Hi, everyone, and welcome to World Doc Allen Podcast. I'm excited to welcome the program World Doc Allen, Lindemann Doc. What's going on, man? How are you? You're doing well here, Neil, and you? Fantastic. And today's topic is oxytocin and labor delivery. What is oxytocin or pitocin? Well, pitocin is the bioequivalent of oxytocin. In other words, pitocin is man-made, but it is the same uh, thing as oxytocin, which is which stimulates labor. What does oxytocin do? Well, in addition to stimulating labor, uh, in which it does, it's like overdrive for labor, and it's usually um, produced from five to nine centimeters. It's also very good for uh, milk letdown. It produces um, prostaglandin, which makes labors uh, still stronger. And it has a fourth value, which is it's kind of a feel-good hormone. It helps moms and babies bond. Where is oxytocin produced? Well, it's originally made in the hypothalamus, which is a gland that's deep in the middle of your brain. And then it is sent to the posterior, that is the back of the pituitary, and it is released in a pulsatile manner on uh, demand. What positive feedback, what is a positive feedback loop? Well, most uh, hormones are regulated by what we call a negative feedback loop. In other words, if you're looking at estradiol, for example, if you get too much of it, it'll send a message to your hypothalamus and your pituitary, which will say to the ovary, we need less hormone. But with a positive feedback loop, it's just the opposite. The more, the more. So the more pitocin that uh, is made, the more is requested. And that goes for the, what I call the um, uh, positive feedback. Does pressure on the cervix cause oxytocin release? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons that uh, we do uh, amniotomy that has ruptured the membranes so there's more uh, pressure on the cervix. What is the difference between using pitocin for augmentation and induction? Well, with augmentation, you give oxytocin or pitocin um, in, in addition to the contractions that are already there. But with induction, you're starting from scratch. In other words, there is no, um, there are no contractions already. Why is Pitocin the preferred method of labor induction or augmentation? Well, according to the uh, ACOG, that is the American College of OBGYN, it's something we call rescindable. In other words, you can stop it in a hurry. The, it doesn't last very long in IV, in the bloodstream. So if you have contractions that are too strong uh, and causing fetal distress, you can stop it return to normal contractions and get rid of the fetal distress. All right, the best place to go is worlddocallen.com and safepregnancy.com. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, Neil. All right, that was the World Doc Allen Podcast, guys.